Hi, I'm Don Carr, and this is the Line 6 Catalyst 100. The Catalyst is Line 6's modern twist on a traditional channel switching amp. It's set up to function like a two channel guitar amp with dedicated knobs for volume, gain, EQ, basic effects control, plus a single button or foot switch to change easily to another sound. What you also get are six original amp designs from pristine clean to modern high gain and all points in between. Each amp design also has its own front end boost control voiced specifically for each amp. There's a dedicated reverb control with six different reverb types. There's also 18 effects including modulation, pitch, and delays with a tap tempo button. There's six banks of presets, each with their own A, B for a total of 12 onboard presets and a global master volume control that's completely independent of the presets. <laughs> Taking a look at the back panel, there's quite a bit going on back here. First up is a four position output power switch that goes from 100 watts to 50 to half a watt to mute, a USB jack that functions as an interface to connect to a DAW or to the Catalyst app for editing and saving presets, MIDI in for preset changes and parameter control, a jack for the optional two button foot switch, aux in and headphone out, an effects loop that also doubles as a power amp input and a dedicated XLR output. And of course, there's an onboard tuner that automatically mutes the amp. So press and hold the tap tempo button and the lights on the effect and reverb buttons become your flat and sharp indicators. One of the best things about this amp is that you can use it in a lot of different ways. So if you're the type of person that doesn't want to dive deep in editing, just turn it on, twist some knobs until it sounds right. The controls are really familiar. There's two easy access presets, or in manual mode, all the controls are what you see is what you get. Now, if you want to go a level deeper, you can create a sound and save it by holding either the A or B button until the light blinks and turns solid again. It's easy to access all of the effects and reverb sounds. Just hold down the appropriate button and select your sound with the rotary selector. <laughs> Now, if you're the kind of person that wants to get even more control, the Catalyst Edit app lays it all out and gives you even more parameters. So you can see everything's laid out really clearly here. This is where the banks are. You can switch between A and B. Preset completely changes or manual mode. And let's go back to the A preset here. You can turn the boost on and off, noise gate on and off, select speaker cabinets, right? Got a selection of microphones here. And when you go into the effects, you can choose from uh, delay, mod, or filter, right? So let's go to the mod section. Let's check out the, uh, the gray flanger. Interesting, you can see all of the effects parameters change depending on what you're using, right? So the same with the, uh, same with the delays when you've got the vintage digital, it's that, or the dual delay. So got a lot of flexibility in the app. I'm playing the Catalyst 100, and there's also a 60 watt version with one 12 inch speaker and a 200 watt with two 12s. They're all great for practice, recording, and performing, plus they're lightweight. With all the options and flexibility, the thing that matters the most is how does it sound. I was able to dial in sounds that I liked right away, quite a few of them, frankly. 
I think the best way to test the range of this amp is by giving it to some folks that know what they're doing. Fortunately for me, I have two such people very nearby, Nick Bocott and Mitch Gallagher, and Nick is gonna be demoing the 60 watt version. Nick Bocott, hey man. Don Carr, thanks for having me, man. Dude, thanks for being here, appreciate it, appreciate it. Anxious to hear what you got dialed in. Yeah, as you know, these came in a few days ago, so I took the 60 home, and as you already said, very familiar, very intuitive, and I didn't bother with any effects per se, I just dialed the amp to see if it worked, and it works really well. It's got six different sounds, like you said, three mm -hmm. cleans, three dirties. The crunch says British, so I had to check that one out, and then there's a high gain one, and that's me, I only have three sounds. Crunch, high gain, and off. My third sound is zero silence. So uh, this is what I programmed into the uh, crunch setting. And I love the fact it's got a, um, a boost because I like to front end all my amps anyway. So it's in there ready for the dialing. The built-in noise gate, easy to use, must be I can use it. I sussed it out straight away. And so here goes nothing, my friend. This nice. is the crunch channel with some boost. So I've back the gain off just a hair, and I'm front ending the amp within the amp. That made sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, cool. nice. Let's Here hear. goes nothing. <laughs> Works for me, man. Killing, man, seriously. Like super amp-like, great feel. The top end's got a lot of nice chirp on it, but it's not like harsh. You yeah, know? no, it's got the harmonic content that's yeah. correct. Like I said, the yeah. only thing I've got on there is uh, just a hair of hall. One thing I must point out, the thing that helped me a lot actually was this. Dun, dun, dun. The pilot's guide, and I think pilot is line six's code for idiot. <laughs> Like six pages taught me everything. Like I said, the noise gate, how to use it. If I want to use the effects, how to put them before the amp or after the amp. So in the effects loop beforehand, like I personally love phase and flange in front of the amp because that's what I'm used to. Delay sometimes too. But you've got, you know, six reverbs to choose from, six modulations, six right. pitches slash filters. And once you've read this, folks, it's pretty simple. It must be, I did it, hurrah. And better than that, you did it without having to open an app or anything. Just yeah. you can do it all in front of the amp. I love the fact you can go on and deep dive, but the fact you can just, like you said, dial, like, hit save, play, thank you, good night, Eileen. It's there great stuff. So my other sound was, of course, high gain, because the more gain I've got to hide behind, the better. So uh, let's check that out, shall we? Once again, here goes absolutely nothing. <laughs> And the key to me there was that harmonic at the end. I'm not using anything to help me apart from a smidge and a reverb, mm -hmm. and it got the harmonic content and went off where it should do. So Absolutely, man. Again, when you said harmonic content and the other one, this sound definitely has it, man. Nice, big, fat, full, all the way across the spectrum. Yeah, it feels really good, which yeah. is a testament to line six, I guess. And I like crunch and high gain. I do occasionally use clean for maybe three or four seconds. And I love the fact one of the reverb options is shimmer. So if yeah. you were a worship kind of guy, right there in the box, add some chorus, add some shimmer, and hey presto, you are off to the races, celestially, if you will. So read the manual, press a few buttons, None more easy, Don. None more no easy. No kidding, man. No Thanks. kidding. Super simple. Thanks, man. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate My it. My pleasure. That'll be $20, please. Just <laughs> mail it to me with the other one. <laughs> Payable Nick Bocott. <laughs> so to play out, I'm going to add a smidgen of analog delay just to smear my jazz-esque wrong notes and uh, see what happens. And remember, read the manual. What a concept. It tells you what to do, and then you can do it. Hurrah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Via the magic of movie making, now we have Mitch Gallagher. Here I am, magically <laughs> appearing out of the ether. Perfect. Out of, out, good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you too. Thanks, Thanks. for inviting me to enjoy the catalyst with you. I'm anxious to hear what you got dialed in. Man, it's a uh, it's a cool amp, isn't it? It is. It's it really a yeah. Is. Uh, we've both been spending some time playing through it, and it's. Man, I think it sounds really good, and it feels good. That's the other part about it. That's always mm -hmm. a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is is there kind of a latency feel to it? Is it does it feel kind of flat? Is it you know, oh, saggy it really, or whatever? Right, yeah, and right. it doesn't. Yeah, no, it feels, it, it feels yeah. yeah. I've got kind of a clean tone dialed in mm -hmm. here. Just been kind of messing around with it a little bit with my my Les Paul. Yeah, I just think it's so dynamic. You know, just whether you're doing like a light touch and I can actually hear my, my nails on the, you know, there's that detail. That's the stuff that's important to me when I'm playing. It is, man, because it follows the dynamics and it's it's letting you speak your voice. And it's interesting already, I mean, just hearing it just now, thinking about this, it's like, it sounds like you playing through that amp. And when Bocop was playing, it sounded like Bocop playing. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. Which is hugely important. Which is a, a good thing, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's got that kind of almost tuby response to it, where it, you know, it just... I can hear that lower mid-range of the Les Paul kind of yeah. speak and kind of depending on just your attack. and The uh, the amp's just got to be responsive in order to do that. Definitely, man, and it has all of that. Yeah. And, you know, and it, it kind of has that on every sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not just like you're doing it with a clean sound. Bocat was doing the same thing with a high gain sound. The amplifier just speaks well when you're yeah. playing and, and sounds different. I had a strap plugged into it, had a uh, more of a, a P90 guitar plugged into yeah. it, and you hear the different pickups, even with dirty sounds, mm -hmm. but with the... Uh, with the clean sounds, again, I, I just really look for that real responsive kind of a thing and the way that the notes kind of are shaped based on how you play the guitar. It should sound like that and it should feel like that mm -hmm. as you're doing it. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing about it, for me anyway, is that, I mean, I, I literally walked in here and turned the knobs and what, 30 seconds had a clean tone dialed up just on the manual setting. Yeah, super intuitive to operate. Right. I mean, if you want to dig down a little bit, you know, just grab the manual and it's, God, man, a couple of pages in and you've got it all figured out. I think I looked up two things. I looked at how to change banks right. and I looked at how to change the different effects types because I've right. got it dialed for a hall reverb. Mm -hmm. It defaults to spring, I think, but I've got yeah. it dialed to the hall reverb and I've got it dialed to the dual delay, right. which is the fifth setting. So once I figured out that you push and hold the buttons and they flash and you turn yep. the knob, once I did that, I closed the manual and yeah. just been working with the knobs ever since. It's yeah. been great. Well, let me dial up a, more of a, a little bit of a crunchy tone okay. like I might use on, on some of my stuff and, and we'll see how that sounds. Cool. Okay, so you've dialed in a crunchier tone. Mm -hmm. So let's hear that, man. Man, it, it's not much different. It's actually, uh, you know, for yeah. like a lot of what I do, I'm using a more, just a broken up kind of a tone. Sure. But the fun thing here is that I changed the amp type to, I was on clean and I changed it to dynamic, mm -hmm. which just has a little bit more gain. It's kind of a mid gain. Yeah model, maybe gave it a little bit of touch more gain and turn the reverb down a touch and here we are. EQ's all the same and what I really like about it is that it dynamically follows mm. your playing. Yeah, it, same dynamic response. You can hear it breaking up a little more when you dig in a little more, yep. and it gets louder. The EQ changes a little bit. You got a little more attack when you dig in. Yeah, man, it's killer. That's one of the challenges with any amp that's not a tube amp mm -hmm. is those mid-gain kind of sounds. Mm -hmm. You can get the good clean tones, I find, a lot of times, and yep. a lot of times you can get really nice higher gain tones. That middle ground where it's very dynamic and touch mm -hmm. sensitive, that's a little bit harder to get out of many other pieces of gear. This seems to be perfectly happy working yeah. in that realm. Yeah, and there's multiple sounds in the amp that do that, and yep. this is the one you're on right now, the dynamic. Yep. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great. Yeah, it'll go from crunchier, I mean, it's obviously not a high gain tone, but it yeah. goes crunchier and responds to your picking. Yeah, man, killer. Thanks, Mitch. My pleasure. Thanks for letting me uh, come in here and, and show you what I've been doing with this amp. It's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I am too, definitely, man. A lot of good sounds in this thing. 
On behalf of myself, Mitch Gallagher, and Nick Bocott, thanks for checking out the Line 6 Catalyst with us. If you have any questions about this or any other Line 6 product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us out at sweetwater.com. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.